first home buyers, high loan to value. Um, so it was an 85% loan. They come from South Africa um, and they had a, a truckload of debt in order to establish themselves here in New Zealand. So they had car loans, they'd gone to GE, or gone to Harvey Norman and bought Harvey Norman on GE. Um, huge debt. Um, but that, it wasn't bad debt, as in frivolity is away. It was furnish a house, buy cars and stuff like that. So when they went to the banks, they were quite surprised that the banks said, well, are they, although you earn good money, because you're borrowing more than 80%, you can't have more than about 10 grand or 15 grand's worth of consumer debt. These guys had about 150 in consumer debt. But they earned some professional couple, um, seriously good incomes. So we made the presentation to Pepe and said, look, they come from South Africa, so this is all about building the story so the lender can understand why. So they came from South Africa. When they left South Africa, they left with nothing, which is not uncommon. Um, because of what's been going on over there. So they've got a young family, they need to furnish the place, they need the washing machine, the dishwasher, and all this kind of stuff. And they need to get around. So they bought two reasonable cars. They're both professional, so they couldn't go down to the five grand car lot and buy a five grand car. They had to be respectable cars. So we built the story around that. The, the deposit was all saved. So it wasn't KiwiSaver. It wasn't a gift from family, it was genuine savings which we could evidence over a fairly short period of time. So those were great because they had gone round, everybody, they'd given up, and actually that was a referral from a real estate agent from memory. And I remember her, her I can say her first name because it's, uh, Gaylene is her first name. And she was, she was in tears at the outset talking about what had happened to them. And I listened to her and I went, okay, no promises, but I think we stand a good shot here. I ran it through uh, Mike, the, the, the BDM at, at, at Pepper, and said, mate, this is, this is nothing wrong with this. You know, there, there's reasons why, blah, blah, blah. So we talked it through with credit and credit approved it. And when we went back to them with an offer letter, which was unconditional, I can still hear the screams. It was just awesome.